So this question starts off by providing this quadratic equation here, um, x squared minus 2x minus 9 equals 0. The question goes on to say one solution to the given equation can be written as 1 plus radical k, where k is a constant. What is the value of k? All right, so I'm going to take this quadratic equation, and I'm going to see, can I factor this? Are there two factors of 9 that add up to negative 2? And there are not, right? So negative 9, I can get by multiplying 3 times negative 3, but that would not add up to negative 2. I could also get negative 9 by multiplying negative 1 times positive 9, but that would also not give me negative 2. And of course, net 9 times negative 1 would also not give me a negative 2. So I need to use a different method for solving for x here, which would be the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Hopefully that looks like review for you. And for us, our a value is 1, right, because there's no coefficient in front of the x squared. Our b value is negative 2, which comes from the coefficient in front of x. And our c value is negative 9, which comes from our integer here at the end. So when I plug all that into the quadratic equation, I get a, instead of negative b, I have a positive 2, plus or minus the square root. b squared would be 4, right? Negative 2 times negative 2. And then minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 9, all over 2a, which is just 1. So if I simplify further, I'd have 2 plus or minus the square root. 4, 4 times 1 is 4, times 9 is 36. I have negatives here, so I become positive. So 4 plus 36, all over 2. So it becomes 2 plus or minus the square root of 40, all over 2. The square root of 40 can be broken down into um, 4 and 10. Let me just write that here. Square root of 40 can be broken down into the square root of 4 times the square root of 10. The square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes 2 root 10. So I'd have 2 plus or minus 2 root 10 all over 2, which can be simplified further. 2 goes into itself once, once, and once. So what I'm left with here is 1 plus or minus root 10. The question says that one of our solutions is 1 plus root k, um, which obviously means that we could have a 1 plus root 10 here or a 1 minus root 10 here. So we're looking here, and our k value is the number under the radical, which is 10. And therefore, our correct answer is choice B.